Ah, it's Alex. I've been back from the British Virgin Islands about two weeks now and thought I'd share with you what I did for the whole uh, COVID protocols required uh, for entering uh, the British Virgin Islands at that time. It was February 17th to the 27th, so um, could have changed by now, likely did change by now. So depending on what's going on in the world, it could get better, it could get worse. Uh, we don't know. But um, I took a proctor test from EMED, that's echo mike echo delta dot com. Um, it's an in-home test. You can purchase it from them. Uh, the tests are made by Abbott. Six of them are, I think I paid $150 for, and they arrive within a day or two. Um, so this is the test. It's done in conjunction with the, uh, with the Navica app. <clears throat> um, so setting up your account, uh, doing a test, uh, the first time takes all of maybe 30 minutes at most. Uh, the second time you take the test, you know, given that you'll have an account by then, it took maybe uh, 20 minutes. So I took the test about uh, a day before leaving for the British Virgin Islands. Uh, I'm not going to show you how I did it because there's um, dozens of videos of people showing how they did it. But essentially, don't open the box until you're told to do so by the uh, proctor on the eMed site. Uh, there's three things in this box. Um, there's some solution. Uh, there's a test. Um, there's a, the actual test itself and a swab that you use um, in each nostril. So you do that. Like I said, um, it takes all of 30 minutes in the beginning. The uh, You just have to make sure you have something to stand either your iPad, iPhone, smartphone, computer, so that you can always have it pointing at the test itself because during the 15 minutes it takes for the test uh, to complete, um, <clears throat> the test itself can't move and neither can the camera. So um, it has to constantly monitor that. And uh, at the end of that 15 minutes, the proctor comes back on and uh, you show them the, the test, hold it up to the camera real close. Uh, then you confirm with them that it was either positive or negative, and they help you read it. <clears throat> um, and then once we were in the BVI, um, we took the test again um, the night before we flew out. So we just made sure we were anchored somewhere that had uh, pretty good Wi-Fi. Um, in our case, we did it at the Cooper Island uh, Resort, um, right next to the rum bar, in fact. Uh, took the test, waited 15 minutes, boom, done. Um, and within five minutes, the results are, are sent to you by email as well it's in the app itself. Coming back from the US, just showing them the uh, results from the app is just fine. Coming into the BVI, they wanted us to show them the actual PDF results that was sent uh, to me by email. So when you land in, <clears throat> or we landed in Tortola, we were brought into a uh, welcome center uh, where our temperature was taken uh, they looked at our vaccine cards, and uh, they wanted to show, they wanted us to show them the uh, the PDF results, and that was it. Super easy. Again, do the test. You don't need to go uh, sign up with your doctor and drive all over the place to get the test. Just do it in the comfort of your own home, and on the way back, do it from your boat or wherever you happen to be. So hope that's it. Just Google. Uh, EMED self test or, co co or EMED uh, self test, the Binax now, and you'll find tons of videos out there of people showing you how to, it's actually uh, done. So, talk to you later.